motorcycle riders may have a new option to avoid gridlock on the roads. A legislator has proposed an idea to allow lane splitting, but Sean Moody explains not everyone agrees it's a good idea. Hey there, Danny. The idea is that allowing lane splitting could reduce injuries to motorcycle riders who get rear-ended in stop-and-go traffic like you sometimes get out here on I-15. It's been done in Europe for a while, and California legalized it last year. A motorcycle safety instructor I talked with, though, says he's not convinced it will work here in Utah. There's nothing quite like being in the environment. Dan Terry's been doing motorcycle safety training since the early 90s, so he took a particular interest when he heard about the effort to allow lane splitting on Utah roads. Fellow motorcyclist and Republican Representative Gage Brewer is House Bill 410's sponsor. Putting the, the bike rider in control of, of his or her safety. Lane splitting means a motorcycle could pass between lanes of slowed traffic under certain conditions. This bill says the motorcycle can move no faster than 40 miles per hour, and the rider has to determine that he or she can make the move safely. If you look worldwide, Europe, Asia, other countries, there's a significant decrease in injuries to motorcycle riders that use, that use these type of uh, ability to change lanes. But Dan Terry says it's not that simple. Why? Are we trying to create another risk factor in our motorcycle operation in the state of Utah? It's comparing uh, complete different mindsets. In Europe, to get a driver's license, it's a tiered testing system where you have to go through a significant amount of training and driving and tests at each level before you get an official license. Representative Frohr says they would promote awareness. Uh, that's one issue we're looking at is uh, making sure that the education, the information is out there to the public, so we don't take the public by surprise. And he says a maneuver like that is always a careful calculation. You better feel safe about it or you don't do it. Afur also suggested that the bill could help improve air quality because it might also help with the congestion out here on the roads. That bill made it out of committee today. Danny, back to you. All right, we'll see what happens. Thanks, Sean.